domestic violence battery is far more serious of a misdemeanor than people give it credit for. And it carries mandatory jail, it carries mandatory counseling, and the counseling's like six months long, so I have heard that the counseling is actually far more torture than the jail time, and that's a scary thought. The good news is we can get all this dismissed for you. The bad news is there's too many people falling prey to the um, lies and urban myths that are out there. One of the more common things you're going to find is this notion that, look, if my girlfriend, my wife, my boyfriend simply calls the state attorney's office, this will all go away, won't it? No, it will not all go away. They can convict you of domestic violence battery without your victim cooperating or stepping foot in that courtroom. They will try to use 911 calls. They will try to use the body cam footage of the officers that showed up on the scene. Maybe they caught something. They will try to call in any witnesses. Maybe there were some kids there. Maybe there were uh, some neighbors that saw something. Who knows? They will get creative just to throw you under the bus. Naturally, the good news is there are people like me and we have more ways of dismissing this than they have ways of convicting you. So please get an attorney involved. And also, a lot of times these judges make it so that you cannot have any contact with your boyfriend, girlfriend, the alleged victim. So I don't wanna see a lot of emails and, and 500 texts flying back and forth after a judge ordered you not to have any contact. This could land you in jail. This is physical proof that you were violating the judge's order. There's a simple fix to this. When you hire an attorney, we can go back to the judge and get the judge to modify the initial conditions so that you guys can talk, maybe you guys can live together again. It is not affordable to wait 60, 90, four months while this thing is pending before it gets dismissed and you have to maintain separate residence and you can't talk about your finances and your kids and this and that, it is very difficult. Let an attorney go in there and fix this and tweak this so you guys can at least have some contact during the whole process. And finally, when the process is over, if you've hired somebody, I hope that your charge is dismissed and the deal killer these days is if you so much as have a dismissed criminal arrest for domestic violence battery on your record, you will be denied employment, you will be denied housing, they won't let you get into some apartments, some homeowners associations won't let you buy in after they do the background check, your credit could be dinged by this, you're considered more of a risk factor with uh, a domestic arrest even though it's dismissed, Nasty things happen that people don't think about. We can fix all that. We will do something called an expunge. That's a fancy way of saying we're going to erase this thing so that nobody can see it if you qualify. So please, when you are shopping for an attorney, just make sure that that attorney is willing to expunge the record as part of the deal. You don't want to get dinged for another fifteen or eighteen hundred dollars at the end of the at the end of the dismissal to have it erased, that should be packaged in to the hiring of the attorney. I do wish you luck. Take care.